Hey guys, through here with Not of It for Blender. This one's gonna be about new feature in Box Cutter Claymore 18. So we were talking in previous videos about live bevels on booleans. Then we were talking about snap grid functions and snap dots and, and whatnot. Today we're gonna be talking about repeat mode on grid and repeat lock and stuff like that. So if you are in object mode, object orientation, so shift V object orientation, let's go to local. And I'm going to draw a shape, right, with a box, okay? So I'm going to just, uh, come on, grab a box and draw a shape, right? And, you know, go this distance, right? And I want to repeat that. Um, all I need to do is hold control and simply double click on a, you know, anywhere really, right? Doesn't matter where it is. It should, it should repeat it, okay? So, boom, right? Let me just turn off this grid for a second. It's confusing. And, you know that's uh, basically a repeat cut okay so it's going to repeat the depth size everything right so let's grab a new cube and let me show you how this works with the grid so i'm going to enable grid right and enable snapping as well and i'm going to draw you know this kind of a rectangle right and i'm going to do something like this right and let's say shifty maybe taper it a little bit okay and cut it now if i wanted to repeat this on the grid all i need to do is bring the grid and you know double click Right. And you can do it, you know, anywhere you want. No problem. However, what if you want to rotate this, right? Well, you could go here and hover over this and shift click on it and then select repeat lock, right? And then what you do is go back to your grid and double click. So what it's going to do now is going to repeat the cut, but it's going to freeze it. So it's just the same as if you were cutting it and pressing tab right so now what you can do is you can actually manipulate with it which is brilliant and you know boom right and there you go now you got a new cut so this is a really cool way of working guys uh, you know uh, you can create some really cool really cool cuts with this uh with this tool right and be quite precise with it so you know it's a really awesome addition to to box cutter anyway guys that's it for the video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did hard up some box cutter links in the video description grab them if you don't have them thanks for watching catch you next one